think Redeemer actually feels pretty all right, but it's pretty awkward to double draw. Why Vest over Resolve? Um, because we want to keep a single unit alive, and there's not a ton of, like, sweeps, at least from what I've seen. You know, could, could easily be wrong. If we're playing against a lot of Withering Whales, Resolve's a bit better. But against P and Z, Vest is better. Pretty much. Because Lucian kind of needs to survive multiple turns. So this is an aggro deck. This is like Targon, Noxus, Overwhelm. Yeah, maybe we just kind of save for early options. Try to stabilize. Don't think I can keep a Remembrance there. Didn't you lose a bit to Funsmith SI Control? Resolve would have helped a lot there. Yeah, there, that's one game where like Resolve would have actually basically just won the game on the spot. But, I mean, there's a lot of matchups where Chain Vest also wins. It's pretty close between the two. I guess I can just Islander the Tracker and then play it into the next turn. Islander Tracker is kind of free. I think I can probably do like Tracker into Lucian on turn two, which feels pretty good. The nice thing is like, if he's playing aggro, he has a hard time actually dealing with Lucian. Oh, my Lucian can still attack here. Cute. Neat. So, Lucian's on one death. In this hand, it's going to be pretty slow deaths. We're kind of relying on top decks to get more. The party has so, we can, like, Glimpse block Draven. I think that's pretty free. Unfortunately, we can't... I would love to, like, Bark Beast block the Precious Pet, but that is impossible here. Because, of course, you can't, like... You know, this is, this is fast speed, not burst. And I can't even designate this as a blocker. Except it's, you know, I guess fearsome. So, I can put this like this and force him to, like, Spinning Axe if he wants to kill my Bark Beast. I actually quite like that. I think, like, I mean, this is going to turn into, like, a longer research battle. He doesn't really have a good Spinning Axe here, right? And if, even if he does that, like, we're just getting another trigger off of our card. So, I'm pretty happy letting him Spinning Axe. If he wants to discard a third of his hand right now, he's allowed to Spinning Axe and kill my Bark Beast. I'm fine with that. But there's no real... It's like a ton of pressure here, so this will be a somewhat slower game. So three is definitely a little too early to have her in the hands here, but that's fine. Now we're cooking. That's what was that? Decimate. Okay. So my Lucian is now three out of four. And holy shit! What are these draws? What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Are we just winning? Is he just dead? No whirling death? I mean, whirling death is a little awkward. Yeah, isn't he just dead? Like, my Lucian's level is double attacking here. Do you ever just lose to Whirling Death here? This pass kind of shows Whirling. I mean, it could be Whirling. I mean, that's isn't that the one way he can win here? But, like, the only problem is I don't think we can play around Whirling, right? I might have been dumped to not Relic there instead. Wait, this is weird. Do I open... Do I open single attack the sapling onto the Draven? And then we get another attack here. Ooh, is this better? Ooh. That's... That's pretty fucking sneaky. I'll try this. It's like a scout attack. Attack with Lucian too. If we attack with Lucian, then we lose our rally if he whirling deaths. I think, like, we're basically, we're locked into assuming he has Whirling Death, and I want to, like, deplete his resources as much as possible, if that's his option. Like, I want to be sure I'm killing his Draven and have, like, re-up. Like, I think now if he Whirling Deaths my Lucian, the fact that I have his Draven dead, he's using his other Draven from hand, and I've got Scythria and Stalking Shadows, means I think I have the ability to just, like, outvalue him at this point. Right? That's, that's why we, like, that's why we have to do that attack like that. We're playing around Whirling Death. Because the Draven dies now, 
We already got our rally trigger. Whirling Death, I don't think we can skip that attack because like we can't really wait to play around Whirling Death. Because, I mean, if we like do a weird Scythria later, then the Spinning Axe will just... I mean, we can never save Lucian from Whirling Death. But now, like, he's on a two-card hand. We're at 16 health, and we have, like, the late game in our hands. Ooh. Okay, this hand is looking kind of bad. Like, even a Keeper, the fact that it costs two actions to Keeper here feels a little awkward. Yeah, Bark Beast is aight. Bark Beast is fine. Is Bark Beast fine? I mean, it gives me something to play this turn. Blighted Caretaker attack was free, though. Yeah, the, the Caretaker, I think, that, that attack makes sense. That's true. You're right. Hmm. So we just want to basically minimize our damage here. He is going to have, you know, the 5-3 is going to attack on the left side. Um, I guess I have to Butcher now. Right? It's either Butcher or Relic. If I Butcher now, I can, like, Bark Beast this, Butcher that. He'll be able to Axe and trade it down. If I Relic now, I'm taking more damage for less reason. The Bark Beast will survive. Like, the, the Relic does allow the Caretaker to survive, and on a wide board, that makes sense. I think I'll Relic now. Just because, like, I'm kind of breaking the Relic if I do it the other way around. But now, like, the the one Relic I don't attack with, I can just put right here. Yep, so we're taking some damage. I'm pretty fine with this amount of health, though. Like, I think this isn't really a huge problem for me. Getting to 10 is kind of bad. Uh, just for the Darius. Yeah, I don't know. 10, 10 might be a little rough. It's possible I should have taken the other line just to stay above the Darius range. Cause like, yeah, 10 is a big break point here. Yeah, we've had to play this pretty awkwardly just to try to like shit down his resources. And he did have the, like, if he couldn't answer the, if he didn't draw double Draven exactly, I think his deck basically just can't answer Lucian, and that's obviously huge. But, I mean, I don't think his deck's really gonna have a super good answer to Scythria here. Like, Scythria should usually clean up. Like, I mean, if he's spinning axes, he's losing his, his other card, which is obviously just too bad for him. It wasn't too Draven, it was main deck. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, th this deck does run some Whirling Deaths. Yeah, I didn't notice it. Pale's a really good card for him here, because it allows him to trade with my first Scythria while also replenishing his draw, but the fact that I've got a second Scythria, I think just allows him to outvalue this. Couple of gems. If he has, like, a Decimate... But the thing is, I can, like, I can block this Precious Pet this time. Like, I do have the 3-3 three, three that I need to block it, and I think that's kind of all I need. Attacking with Lucian into Whirling Death was a throw. Um, really? I think in the hand states where he has Whirling Death, though, we're fine, right? With Because of our hands, the ability to have value. Like, can we afford to just, like, never attack that game? Because it's not like he's ever going to not have Whirling Death. It could be. It bricks his attack. I can see that, yeah. This is weird. I guess I play the Islander first. Nah, I need a wider board. I'll Scythria first. You should have a hard time actively killing the Scythria here. We just need to basically force a two for one. Our hand is actually surprisingly all right for like, you know, this stage in the game. Usually this deck has like a couple of weird cleanup cards. Haha, <laughs> decisive. So, I mean, he's giving us another action here. And he can't use both plus ones. So, I mean, my Scythria will still be able to block for value. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, we're, we're blocking this down either way. The Scythria can always block the 4-1, and the 2-1 can always block the 5-1. We're at 6 health, which is a very safe range. Yeah, just, like, Bench Lucian. Lucian is just the landmark. Yeah, I mean, his deck doesn't really have the ability to kill the Bench Lucian. I guess I was more worried about not being able to punish hands that didn't have Whirling Death. 
Just because I, I feel like if he has Whirling Death and the line of play goes like this, I feel like we almost always win. I don't know, like, if we let him get to a position where he has the ability to erase us, I don't know if, like, the attack token can do enough there, right? This is a funny draw. Yeah, Cythria can get blocked out by the spider thing. Sort of sad. I am, yeah. I mean, I could have just like AFK'd and left uh, Lucian on the board. Cause like, we're a little vulnerable to like Darius off the top kind of hands. I would have been interested to see how that like, how that would have played out. And the sad thing is like, I really wish Redeemer could take this attack, but I think it's too important to draw off of Redeemer. If Redeemer takes this attack, if he wants to kill Cythria, he's taking 12 damage. But he can use... Yeah, that's right. So he's... He, it stops him from killing our Cythria if I take this Redeemer here. Because if he kills the Cythria, he's taking exactly 12. He has Axe. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. Like, he can fear some block and then Cythria's not dying. Isn't that just a little bit worth it? How 12? Because they're all 4-4s, four right? Am I stupid? Am I missing something? I feel like that's better than, like... I, I think a lot of our lose condition is if the draw from Redeemer doesn't actually help enough. And he obviously can't afford to take the damage. It basically... By playing this now, it means the Cythria will live no matter what. Right? Like, he, he, if he kills the Cethria, his Nexus dies. And there's no, there's no single way around that. Don't hold back. We strike. Yeah. So. He's realizing he can't kill the Cethria. Which, I mean, he can stay alive this turn, but only if he doesn't kill the Cethria. Yep. Like that. So he needs he's basically got one draw to hit Darius. He needs to draw Darius on this draw. And if he does, I guess we lose. That would be really, really sad. But I think we we could have played in a way that like that tried to slow play around like this Darius top deck. I'm sure that's true. Yeah, I mean he certainly doesn't have an attack here. I guess I can play the relic into my attack, right? What is your run? Sentry? It's actually possible. If he like pales, I need this to be lethal. And there's no, uh, yeah, there's no like sentry in the deck, so there's no downside to relicking before the attack. He should have gemmed instead of axing. Yeah, that would have been a little bit better on his side, I think, because he did have the action to be able to gem, right? before I declared combat. Okay. Yeah, this build's working pretty well. I'm actually kind of liking Redeemer. I think the most important thing we need is just the ability to like go into the late game. 